divide the x plus y over x equals 2 cos x. The equation's in standard form, isn't it? So we can just circle the p here. Here it is here. So we can write down the integrating factor. So here I, the integrating factor is e, e to the integral p dx. It's 1 over x, isn't it? dx, which is log x. e to the log x. And the e and the log, they cancel each other out. We're just left with x. So multiplying then. So the equation by x gives, so we've got x dy dx plus the x's cancel, we'll just be left with y here, is equal to 2x cosine x. Now we can circle, look at this problem now, and circle the u and the v. So here's u, it's always in this position, here's v, u and v. So here then, d by dx of u times v, x times y, is equal to 2x cos x, uh, 2x cos x, integrating both sides then, gives, the integral of the derivative on the left hand side is just the thing itself inside the bracket, x, y, and then we've got two lots of integral of x, so I'll just put the two outside there, x cosine x dx, which is integration by parts. So label that v du. And let's do integration by parts then. So uh, we've got xy is equal to, and I'll draw a grid so that we're all happy. So I can refer to the constituent parts of the formula. So we need a u and we need a v. u, uh, v du, sorry. There's V, which equals X, and DU is equal to cos. So, uh, DV equals 1, and U will equal the integral of cos is sine. There we go, that's everything we need. So, the first thing is UV, these two, X sine X, minus the integral of... <coughs> And I'm going to worry about this two lots of in a minute. Don't worry about that. Uh, minus the integral of u dv. So that's sine x times 1, which is sine x dx. Now, I forgot to put down the 2 because there's two lots of all this. So we'll put it in here. Um, just make a bit of room. <coughs> and it's two lots of the whole thing, isn't it? This integrate integral. So we get xy then equals 2. Um, now I'm going to expand the bracket at the same time as working out the integral. So it's 2 lots of x sine x minus 2 lots. of so the integral of sine is minus cos, isn't it? So that flips that to a plus and a plus k at the end. Now divide by x all the way through. This will be just 2 sine x here. This will be 2 over x cosine x and this will be plus k over x.